Nope. Final world? What do we got? Uh, thank you, Aldo Rain. Thank you, Dravy. Redgar Forbidden Lands. Found a new area. Poor captured Elphalin must be farther ahead. Hope you're okay out there, Elphalin. Oh, man. This part is so scary. I don't know if I can do it. Enter the fiery forbidden lands, but it's forbidden though. Honestly, the webcam doesn't require too much adjusting. That's mostly audio is the thing that's like you could tweak forever. All right, enter the fiery forbidden lands. Let's do it. POV, you get strangled by Barb. Do, 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 do. Time for a third cat? I don't think so, dude. See, I love the camera angles. Like, look at how like cinematic and cute the zoom in is here. Very cute. There was a hamburger plant. Ow! Oh! You get fucking absolutely flattened. Let's see, how do I get up there? Can you not uh, get up here? Ah, there we go. Ah. Oh, defeat two lookout a uh, woofies. Defeat the lookout a uh, woofies. Oh god. How far in the lava is that going? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well. Oh god, what the hell am I what am I doing? The fire hurts you? Dude! Bro! What the fuck? Oh, no! Hit the switch! Oh, I wanted to hit the switch! You know what? Kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I want to hit that switch, goddammit. I am going to hit that switch. Go ahead! Go ahead. I want to hit that switch, motherfucker. Bodied. Ah! Oh, you can't. I thought you could uh, suck that dude up. Apparently not. Here. I'll take the Meta Knight. Ah! Alright, we gotta kill this guy again. Alrighty. You gotta suck harder. Dude, I'm sucking as hard as I can. There we go. That time we got it. Uh, bacon copter. Thank you for the reset. Thank you very much. Alrighty. We got to jump up here to kill this guy. Aha. Nice. The blender attack. That was one of, uh, in Brawl, that was one of Meta Knight's most, uh, like, broken moves, wasn't it? The tornado? 
Well, I have a lot of. I never. I never played brawl, so I don't really have any brawl experience. I feel like it's kind of a. Uh, it's a disappointing. It, it, this like that's just the way gamers are. I guess it's, it happens across all games, like literally all games, where people will gravitate and choose the best thing. I feel like that's kind of not and not necessarily the thing they like, just the thing that's the best. You know, like I think you're seeing it with Elden Ring and the stupid rivers of blood. You know, and like spamming that move. I don't know. The min maxing of games. It's, just, it's more fun to choose the fun thing. You know. Uh, do I want the mole here? You only use Jigglypuff? Moonvale? Ultimate is so boring because the best strategies are camping. Yeah. It's even worse when you're playing Ultimate Online and you have to play with so much input lag and people's shitty connections. They're just running away, spamming you the whole time. It's like, ugh. Like UFC and the BJJ being OP. I don't understand what any of that means, but yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> I didn't get any of that, but yes, exactly that. Oh, uh, so it's a good thing we brought the mole. Hang on. Cool. Oh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Is that like the dominant martial art in, uh, in uh, MMA nowadays? Did not know. It's kind of interesting. Pretty much wrestling is. Let's see, where are we going? Aha. Aha. Uh How do I reach this? Maybe we come back here later? I don't know. Uh, Doc Softlock, thank you for the 16 months. Super Wario World, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you very much. Ah! Those people have both. UFC got patched. Did I uh, see something over here? I guess not. Uh, I lost it. No, give it back. Moldovan pinch fighting. Secret? Ooh, secret. There we go. Most people have both skill sets. Yeah, I can't say I really follow MMA. MMA is very different from it used to be, though. I remember the old school, like, pay-per-view MMA stuff. Where it was just, like, two big guys slugging the shit out of each other with, like, no skill and, like, anything. <laughs> I don't really, I didn't really watch that either, but I've seen, I've seen the videos. Let's see. Oh God. Secret. No weight class UFC was the best, just brawling. Yeah, just pretty much just straight up brawling. Oh shit. No, I fucked it. I fucked it. I missed it. I got to go all the way over there. All right. We got to start this one over. Is there a uh, reset? Oh, okay. I fucked it up. Wasn't a big UFC fixture. Is there a way to uh, start it over? There's gotta be a way to start that one over. Can I go back here? Ah, okay, so you can pretty easily just go right back. Okay, got you. I just need to get the, the top right one first, if we can help it. Ha! 
There we go. How's this game? Oh, dude, this game is so much fun. It's so adorable. I feel like for me, it's a game that's been hard to, it's, it's hard to play it and not smile the entire time. It's just so much fun. Very good game. Solid recommend. Okay, so what is this for then? Hi guys, it's me, Walter Kirby. Coming through. Watch out, here I come. I got a lot of water in my mouth. Yeah, this game probably the most closely resembles 3D World, but I would say that um, I don't think it's quite as so like the thing about 3D World is that the farther 3D World is great fun, but the farther you get into it, the more tedious it becomes. And the reason why it becomes so tedious, use water to destroy a lot. Oh, oh, so I guess I missed out on that. Uh, 3D World gets more tedious. Um, because we want it, you have to go get every golden star, every hidden star. You got to get the top of every flagpole. You got to get bring in certain characters. You got to do like a whole bunch of additional shit. I feel like this game isn't quite as tedious in that regard. Like, I mean, I guess I could stop. I don't. I don't think that this game is gonna gate me off from levels. Like, look the way 3D World does. Like, 3D World says like go back and go do that shit again. Uh, if you want to do post-game content. I don't think this game is going to do that. I don't think it's going to do that. So, Are you playing on Nintendo? Flame and Bob, what else would I be playing on? Like Breath of the Wild. It's a shame it's only like 10 hours. Uh, I mean, let's see. I've been going for two and a half, and I played for about six hours yesterday. So that's about like eight and a half, nine hours so far playing the game. Is that Nintendo? What are you playing on? All right, we got homing bomb treasure. One minute. Seek the switches homing bomb treasure. We've got one minute. All right, seek the switches homing bomb hunt. Let's do it. Is this on the soldier boy? Okay, guess we'll find out. Let's pretty much just throw it close and it'll do the rest of the work. Oh no. So wait, what? What? Wait, I don't get it. Okay, I actually don't get it. Uh, all right. I don't think I did it. I don't think I did it. Now there's getting paid. Oh yeah, by 15 seconds. I didn't understand. I didn't understand until it was too late. So I probably had to just throw it up. I probably wasted a whole bunch of time. Yeah, I didn't get it. Oh well. GG. Uh, will Bar beat the target time? The answer was no. Did not beat the target time. All right, I think here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's see. Suicide Skippy, one day. Uh. God damn it. Why is it so hard to time people out? Why is it so fucking hard to time people out? I just want to time people out. 24 hours. There we go. 24 hours for you. Uh, let's see. 24 hours for you. There you go. All right. 24 hours. Good fucking lord. Unworthy oh, of your unworthy. Conquer the Inferno Road. 
<sighs> Timeout tag. Every time I've ever tried to type in somebody's name when I'm doing slash timeout the name, it's like, oh, it's not an L, it's a one. Ha <laughs> ha. Like, it's, it's, typing up, ty actually typing out Twitch chat usernames is like impossible for some reason. I don't know why. It's, it's like the hardest thing ever. <laughs> it's so difficult for some reason. Deal two of the beast meaty meals. Copy and paste. I just have to click on the name and just do it from there. Oh, uh, running. Hey, why did those people get timed out? Because I am so goddamn sick of reading the same fucking moronic joke that I'm gonna fucking lose it if I have to keep reading it. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna actually lose my fucking marbles. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind if I have to read it much more than I already have. Um. I didn't see a way in. Yeah, my name is actually a -Rick. See, that's why, man. It's fucking... See, it's really hard to type out your guys' names. It's really hard to actually do that. Right, I don't see a way to save him now. Uh, should I get the bomb, maybe? Let's grab the bomb. Uh, 1080p, thank you for the 17 months. Thank you, 1080p. Appreciate it. Rose Guard, thank you for the 17 months. Ah. There we go. Save the Waddle Dee. I'm sorry I don't get timed out with an easy name. No, get away. Ow, you fucking asshole. Subscription. Well, these guys kind of kick my ass in this game. Those actually do kind of kick my ass. Uh, Joe Gangsta, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, Joe Gangsta. God, die already. <laughs> These guys do kind of kick my ass. Too tanky. This game seems fun. Very fun. Oh, we got the other one too. Cool. Boo, 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 boo. Just change your username to the streamers and make them time themselves out. I don't think that would work. So can I now... Okay, so you have the ice power up. You can just skate on the lava. Okay, that's interesting. I did not know that. That's cool. Didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Cool. Change my username to be as annoying as possible. I will take that and cool. <laughs> Firing off the uh, snowman is pretty funny. Uh, Lord Rudup, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Lord Rudup. Ah! Ooh! Ooh, that got me a thing. Hey. Do I prefer 3D or 2D Kirby? This is the first 3D Kirby I've ever played. How many 3D Kirby games are there? 
There's not that many, right? One, two, several. Okay, I don't see how to get over there. Ah, oh, what? Ah, there we go. Okay, now I see. Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you, you fuck. Jeez, man. I, th I really, I thought that was in a totally different, like, like, dimension. I didn't realize it was, go it was going right on my head. Ah, that was fucking rude. Got him. There's a free online game for the Switch. A free 3D Kirby game on the Switch. It's the first I've ever heard of it. No, I always hit the wrong thing. First I've ever heard of it. The DS one is 3D. Yeah, I, I don't know, honestly. I don't, uh, I don't often play, uh... I don't often play Kirby games, period, so. Hey, that was cool. That was a cool one. You know the difference between 2.5D and 3D? 3D graphics aren't 3D gameplay. Chat really is so much dumber on. <laughs> they are just so much dumber on the weekends. Oh. Uh. Okay. So. See you. Ah. Got it. A lot of graphic nerds in chat today. So yeah, it's like it really is like driving off a cliff. Pretty, uh, it's pretty, it's a lot today. Luckily, I'm dumb every day. We know. I miss weekday chat. I wonder if there's an upgrade to the gunner somewhere. Aha. I haven't found the upgrade of the gunner yet. I'm still kind of hoping for another Star Fox section, I'm not gonna lie. I resemble that remark. There is 3D graphics and 3D gameplay. I think this might be the first Kirby with 3D gameplay. Yeah, I'm not some kind of a uh, Kirby historian in terms of all the games. Uh, most of my experience with Kirby from, comes from the NES and Kirby's Dreamland on the uh, Game Boy. I only very recently played uh, Kirby Superstar on SNES. It was only very recently. So I don't know which way is the way forward. Like, is that is that a secret or is that the way forward? I, I don't know. Is this game boring and generic? Would you guys agree that I'm a pretty, pretty jaded gamer? Like a lot of stuff, like I'm pretty jaded about stuff. I don't, e I'm not easily excited. You know, like I'm like, ah, I'm critical. Uh, I have had a fantastic time with this game. It is super cute. I've really, really enjoyed it. I really have no complaints about this game at all. Like. It's, it's a little easy, sure, but like, you know, it's a Kirby game, so what do you expect? Uh, I really have no complaints about this. I've had a great, I've had a great time with it. Really enjoyed this game. No complaints. Very surprised how much I like this game. Not even close to Jaded. It's not supposed to be a difficult game, no. I feel like it's got a decent level of challenge, especially if you're doing all the side stuff, too. But uh, there's definitely like a limit to how hard this is going to be for sure. But it's a Kirby, again, it's a Kirby game, so. Kirby 
Corona Mountain. Well, the difference between this and Corona Mountain is that I can actually control what's happening here. <laughs> uh, not quite. Aha! Make all the windmill switches spin. I, I try to be fair, you know, I try not to be a biased, you know, I try not to be too biased beyond my own experience or whatever. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. What the fuck are you? I missed. <laughs> a what? There we go. Space Ranger Blueprint? Space Ranger? What the fuck is that? What is Space Ranger? I gotta try that. The boat doesn't disintegrate when it hits something. What a, what a bad... That was such a bad sunshine design choice. Like, okay, the boat fucking sucks to control, right? The boat sucks. Why did they make it disintegrate when it hits a wall? What a fucking terrible choice. What a terrible choice that was. <laughs> Just awful. Yeah, Mario Sunshine. I mean, it's realistic. To pad out the game time. It was pro like I feel like maybe it was a compromise because if you got the boat against the wall, it was really hard to get it off the wall. So maybe it was like a compromise. Like, okay, if you just hit the wall, it dies. Maybe that's why, right? That's, that's my theory. That's my theory. Corona Mountain Boat was the worst design thing I've ever seen in a game. Like in terms of a single element of a game, absolute fucking trash. I'm not even going to argue with you. It's pretty bad. Sounds plausible for sure. Probably one of the worst things I can think of in a Mario game. I'm a programmer. Sounds like something I do. <laughs> All right. I want that Space Ranger. It's got to be one of the worst things in a Mario game for sure. I want that Space Ranger. You don't understand the cult following behind Sunshine? They grew up with it. That's it. They grew up with it and they will never... People never admit flaws in something or admit that it's bad. So... That's all it is. There's nothing, there's nothing else to understand. They will never admit it. All right. Evolvo, what do we got? Hi. Love Sunshine can confirm. But you can love something and be like, yeah, it's fucking awful, though. <laughs> you can love that and just say that. I love Kaizo 1. That's fucking trash, though. Whoa, Space Ranger. We got like a space gun now. I like my space helmet. I love Mario 64. It's got its issues, too. It's got its issues, too. Whoa! I fired a fucking black hole? What is that? <laughs> oh, man. Cool. I like it. We're enter the gungeon now. It does have a jetpack. Hey, what if I block? Okay, if I block, that's all it is. I often forget. I honestly forget that there's blocking in this game all the time. I just forget that it even is a thing. <laughs> if you can love things that are trash, then why can't you call my mom back? I don't have enough stars for the drill. I don't have enough star. I would evolve it. I don't have enough stars for it. Uh, I have zero stars. See? It's weird that I have zero stars too because I've been doing every single one of these missions. Whack attack wild hammer trial. All right, let's do it. Whack attack wild hammer. Are they going to make me do like whack-a-mole or something? Subbing spree. Uh, hey, thanks for the five gift subs, Tre Trebendo. 
Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Having a, a couple of depth perception issues here and there. Two of these guys. Fuck me up on the charge. I think I just barely missed it. Dude, they, I was charging and it hit me like one millisecond before I let it go. Like literally one millisecond before I was going to let it go. That would have been fine, man. Fuck. All right. Didn't get it. I was really close. Uh, will Bar beat the target time? The answer was no. So if you charge up the hammer all of the way, it does a lot of damage, but um, yeah, the game doesn't always let you do that. All right, so we did this one, Conquer the Inferno. Okay, what we got? Burning, churning, power plant. Okay, let's do it. What's harder, this or Elden Ring? Timeout. I will teach you one Twitch chatter at a time. One Twitch chatter at a time. I will teach you that you are not funny and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to teach you one by one. I'm going to sit you on my knee and show you how much of a dumb fuck you are. One Twitch chatter at a time. <laughs> we are the Elden Wing mod! I will fucking sit you on my knee and show you what a dumb fuck you are one at a time if I have to. No, I want my space helmet. This music. Do I want the hammer? Probably. When the game offers you something, you should probably take it. Perk up with three cups of coffee. That sounds like me every night. Hey. Only had two, I guess I need to step. I only had two cups of coffee myself as well. Didn't have nearly enough coffee today. Ow. Oh! Yeah, it's got some good music for sure. I would say that the I, I don't think the music is as strong as something like Odyssey, but uh, I would say that the music is sol is definitely above average for sure. It's had a couple of memorable tunes for sure. At some point, you do get kind of immune to coffee. It's true, it definitely happens. 
The Mario Golf music is bad. It's actively bad. It's not just the music. It's like the way they use the music too is also bad. Mario, Mario Golf has bad music, period. Kind of a shame because Mario Golf 64 has such great music. Oh shit, get the fuck out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, we need fire. Okay, well, let's go get fire. Like I said, the game offers you an ability. You should probably take it. Ow. It's a two shot. Will this be a contender for game of the year? Why are people constantly asking me about game of the year? Is that like a new thing that just started recently? <laughs> game of the year? 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 Is this game of the year? This is like a new thing. I don't know why. I don't know when this started, but I hate it. Game of the year? Game of the year? Okay. Game of the year is Horizon Zero Dawn. Horizon Forbidden West is a great game. It's really good. Uh, all right, so, huh, how's this going to work? Let's see. So this will block the fuse for sure, right? So somehow we have to start the fuse and then like avoid it or something. Okay. Let's try it out. These always let you refresh anyway. Okay. It's going to go around me here. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> That was cool. That was cool. I like that. That was fun. Nice. Yeah, really cute. Take my money. I like Bomberman here. I'm not super familiar with the Bomberman music. There's another hidden path over here. Okay. Ha! The deep sleep. Now you can evolve the sleep ability. Why can you even evolve the sleep ability at all? <laughs> okay. When was the last Kirby game? There was a it was like there was a Kirby Star Allies on the Switch, right? I didn't play it. I didn't play that game. Okay, we got all the cups of coffee. Oh boy. I'd say like generally my 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 principle is to avoid Kirby games. And this game was an exception because the preview, the first preview looked bad and I was like, dude, fuck this. This like this looks like trash. And then the second preview, I was like, okay, that actually looks better. Okay, I'm into this. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. Very fun. I, I was a doubter. Dude, the first preview looked really bad. Did I want to like sit down and watch the first reveal of this game on YouTube or something? I, I promise you, dude, it looked like shit. It looks choppy. It looked boring. It was like, oh, God, fuck this. Oh! What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm the right shape. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what the heck was that? That was funny. Yeah, that was really cute. 
I thought it'd be more like Odyssey. Yeah, I mean, I guess some people thought it was gonna be open world when in reality, it's definitely more like, this game is definitely more like 3D world than Odyssey, for sure. Definitely a lot more like 3D world. Did it. What do we got? We got the cups of coffee. We didn't get squished. Uh, I guess we never infiltrated the control room. I don't know where that is. No idea. How much does deep sleep cost? I don't know. We can go check it out. Some Takeshi's castle. I don't know why people thought wanted this to be open world. Just like probably just from the previews. That's the way it looked, I guess. I mean, even if, in the end, Odyssey isn't truly open world. Like you're aware of that, right? Odyssey, you float around and you choose the level. It's like an open world level, but it's still not an open world. You know, it's still just, you still have to choose your levels within there. You can't like walk from Sand Kingdom to, you know, Bowser's Kingdom, right? So there's still levels within Odyssey. That's not a criticism. I think Odyssey is one of the most amazing games I've ever played. That's just the way the game is. So I don't, don't, don't interpret that as like, oh wow, Barb hates Odyssey. I fucking adore Odyssey. The gimmicks work very well in the game. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's do it. The stairs are very funny for sure. Oh, where am I? Go, go. You fucking piece of shit. Where am I? Oh, no, I missed it. Come on, be forgiving. Did I get it? This Kirby is much of a fever dream as the one you played the other day. Ah, fuck you. Fuck you. Damn it. So close. Uh, will Bar beat the target time? No. No, I didn't. The bonk. Wasn't forgiving. Got me. Asshole. Kirby turns into take form what he eats, and I don't think he wants to turn into... Into what? Right, cool. Uh, somebody asked if I'm doing, like, 100% of the game. I mean, I... It's really hard to get all of the Waddle Dees in one go, especially when you don't know what the secrets are. It's hard to get them all in one go. I've been doing all the side stuff, like all the additional missions and trying to upgrade stuff as I go. Gathering of the Beast Council. Okay. Oh my God. Gathering my council. Haha, you missed the target instead of letting you retry right away. You gotta select it again. Is this an extra world? No, we haven't finished the game yet. No credits. I haven't finished yet. Mm, is this going to be like a boss or something? Choose your destiny. Uh, I will take... Let's try the... I haven't done much with the space. Let's try the space suit. <laughs> Kirby's little jetpack and space helmet are fucking way too cute. Ah, uh, is this going to be a boss rush? Eat fucking black hole, bitch. You can't fire more than one black hole, it seems. Only one.
Dude. Dude. This this sword too OP, dude. They gotta they gotta release a patch because they gotta nerf it. It's too Kirby is just too OP. I've enjoyed all the car sections too. All the car sections are very fun. Oh, we're on the timer. I like it. Rivals uncharted for cinematic set pieces. I do think that they actually did do a really good job with like the cinematic aspect of the game. Like, like look at how, do you see how like the camera is showing Kirby kind of going into this like distant forest? Like the way the game is shot is quite nice. I like, I like the way the whole game is shot. Okay, we can choose a new weapon. What do you guys think? Buzzsaw? You guys want to try Buzzsaw? Let's do this one. Yeah. Beyblades. Let's do this. Oh, no, dude. Silly Dillo. He killed my deathless run. <laughs> Not Silly Dillo. Shredding him there. Damn it. Oh shit, I lost I lost my butt my Beyblade. Hmm? Kirby is Bayonetta. Kirby only consumables run. They struggle with putting enemies defeated. Hey, look, we defeat. We got a thing for that. They struggle with putting enemies initially amount and had a lot of empty hallways. Interesting. Interesting. Dude, my damageless run of Kirby in the Forgotten World has been ruined. It's gonna make the collector look like silly Dillo. Yeah, I, I really do find this game very charming. It is instantly and instantly a Nintendo Switch classic, in my opinion. Instantly a classic. It's no, it's not an anybody impression. No, I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Okay, cool. Nice Kirby pipe. Yeah, I, I, you know, and I'm, I, I'm full. You guys know I am fully always ready to criticize Nintendo. I am always ready to criticize Nintendo, but they don't get, they don't get a pass from me. The only thing I have to say about Nintendo is, man, why was your preview of this game so shit? Your preview of this game was fucking awful. All right, let's change it up. Spacesuit bomb. Let's go. Uh, let's go the bomb, I guess. Actually, you know what? Let's do a true Kirby playthrough. Let's go. Uh, we'll go power up list. No power up. Do the the epic dodge. Uh oh, I don't know where I fucking got a meta. Okay, well, game says I guess use a Meta Knight sword.
Was it a blade from the attack? Is that where I got it from? Okay. Dude, your run is invalidated. Who said you could use a Meta Knight power-up? It's not allowed, man. Be oh, we got one beat Clawline without taking a hit. Dude, come check out my uh, hitless tutorial Kirby Soul Level 1 Clawline technique on twitch.tv slash King. Here is how you beat Clawline without taking a hit. Like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Mabarus. <laughs> Whee! Ah. There haven't been a lot of the roller coaster sections. I think there's only... Has there only been one uh, prior to this? I think maybe there was one, but I... I I'm not even sure. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Whoa. Ah! 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 <laughs> hey, we saved them. There we go. Cool. So cute, man. My no hit run has been ruined, dude. We gotta reset. I gotta play the whole game again. Uh, all right. It's the Regal Cinema intro. Dude, that, I don't think they show that anymore. I, you know what? It took me a second. I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't think they use that anymore, dude. <laughs> Venture deep into the secret path. What does that mean? What the hell does that mean? They do? They still do the Regal Cinema, the roller coaster thing? I, dude, I haven't seen that since I was like fucking 12. I swear to God. <laughs> I haven't seen that shit. Hey, does, somebody have a, does anybody have a YouTube video of that? I haven't seen that in so long. Does anybody have a YouTube video of that? I kind of want to watch that. The roller coaster's still there. I Dude, I haven't seen that in a million years. You, I think when I was a kid, my sister and I, when we were doing that, we would put our hands up and like go like this. <laughs> we used to do that. <laughs> Somebody rickroll him. Uh, let's see. Ring mouth treasure. Gus for glory. Ring voting rush. One minute. Let's do it. Get out. It has to be bled. It should be get out of my room. Go, go, go. You fucking assholes. Get off! I think I was too slow. Was I like just barely too slow? Ah, oh, come on. I got stuck a few times. Come on. I barely got stuck. Son of a bitch. Fuck. That was close. Two seconds, man. All right. Choose prediction outcome. Will Barb beat the target time? The answer is no. By two fucking seconds. Uh, oh, you know what? We could probably go upgrade a thing. Let's go upgrade something. Uh, Pacofication. Thank you for the 42 months. Thank you, Pacofication. Let's see. What can we upgrade? 
Yeah, yeah, we'll upgrade something. I am curious what the upgrade for sleep is. Is this the new Kirby? Yes, this is the new Kirby. Deep sleep. So this game the last like one stream. Yeah, it was a uh, six and a half. It was like about six, six and a half hours yesterday. And today we've been going for uh, over three hours today. So that's that's decent. You know, you know, Resident Evil three is the metric by which I measure the length of every game. Resident Evil 3 is the bottom of the barrel, the least amount of content, the shortest, most unsatisfying, like, pfft, here you go, 60 bucks, get the fuck out of here. Like, that is the metric. It's already worth so much more than Resident Evil 3. The Resident Evil 3 remake is a fucking joke. I went in blind and it takes you like five hours, four or five hours. It's a joke. There's nothing, and, and when you beat it, there is nothing else to do. Like, let's say that, let's say this next level, Let's say this next level is the last level. Dude, I could go back and go get all the Waddle Dees and shit. Like, there's so much stuff for me to do I haven't seen yet. <laughs> okay, so I can become a fucking bed, I guess. So what? Why? What is the point of a bed? I can't get out. 200? What is 200? 200 what? Like attack power or something? It heals? Maybe like additional damage or something? I, I don't know. Interesting. All right, let's take back the space suit. And all right, let's go. 200 sleep. <laughs> this is why I hate video games, because it appeals to the male fantasy. <laughs> Are gonna check out Tiny Tina's? Uh, I don't know what that is. I've heard some stream some streamers are playing it. I don't I don't know what it is though. No idea. Okay, so whatever we need for this, oh, we need the third tier of the ice ability. We don't have that. We don't have enough stars to get that. Oh, perfect. Space Ranger. A minute twenty. Shoot and scoot conveyor targets. Where I found the pizza at Walmart, so one week of naked eating streams, as promised. Did I get it? Did I get it? I don't know if I made it or not. I think I was pretty fast. Hey! Let's go. Six seconds. Let's get it. Uh, Myers, thank you for the 12 months. There we go. Will Bar beat the target time? The answer was yes. The answer was yes. Actually, these, uh, these treasure road things are actually pretty good for gambling. They're actually pretty good for it. Uh, King Leo, thank you for the nine, nine, uh, thank you for the nine months. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. So you made it after I lost all my bread, you dick cheek. I've never heard dick cheek before. That's a new one. Uh, we did this one. And we did this one. We did this one. The Beast Pack's final stand. Okay. Let's do it. 
fucking dick cheek. What? Found a hamburger. Okay, where are we going? Yeah, this is the level three ranger gun. Level three ranger, it's a space suit. And if I fully charge it up, I can fire a black hole. All the enemies, all the beasts in the starting area. Do, 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 What's my ideal ham, ham barburger? Ham barburger. Uh, my favorites hamburgers are ones with like an egg on them. I guess they'd be referred to like a breakfast burger, or like a sunrise burger. Eggs with like bacon and, uh, and uh, bacon and eggs on them are quite good. I like those a lot. Ow! Aha! Yeah, I like that a lot. No, no, no. Fuck. Oh, well, I lost my spacesuit. I I don't often order those because I feel like I don't often order burgers, period, because uh, I feel like more often than not, when it comes to burgers, I'm ve I get very disappointed. More often than not. All right, we got Spike. Burgers are good. Favorite Zelda? Uh, top three Zeldas. Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Zelda 2. Uh, well, maybe Link to the Past. All right, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Link to the Past. Then I'd say Zelda 2. Okay, well, there must be some water around for me to be able to save this guy because there's no other way for me to kill this dude, right? Let's go grab the dragon here, or the fire. Ah! Oh God, I lost it. Okay, there's the water we were looking for. Dandy's favorite Zelda is Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess may have my favorite Zelda dungeons. May have my favorite dungeons out of all of Zelda. I really enjoy, uh, uh, I really enjoy the dungeons in Twilight Princess. The issue with Twilight Princess dungeons though is that I don't want to play the rest of the game to get there, so. I do really enjoy the dungeons, though. There is Link to the Past. The first Zelda game I ever beat was uh, Ocarina of Time. That was the first one I beat. Oh, we can refill on water. Fill me up. Thoughts on Skyward Sword? Pretty awful. Pretty awful and 
uh, I feel like it makes you appreciate the change of direction they went. I mean, in a lot of ways, Skyward Sword is the culmination of, like, the Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, like, that direction Zelda had gone into. Heavy narrative, increasing cutscenes, you know, like, hand-holding, long setup. So, like, in a lot of ways, like, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword's like the end of that road. Does that make sense? And Skyward Sword is like everything that's so bad about those and and more. Hmm? Well, Breath of the Wild is, is a very sharp, uh, very sharp turn. Uh, for in good ways and in bad ways because they they got rid of a lot of the narrative and they took away a lot of the hand holding and let you do whatever the fuck you wanted which is great I love that about Breath of the Wild but they also got rid of the most defining thing about Zelda which are the dungeons so kind of a tale of two parts in there Do have anything positive to say about Skyward Sword no Having some tolerable dungeons and some okay ideas in there is not enough. I don't have really much top positive to say about Skyward Sword. The dungeon where you rearrange everything is kind of a cool idea. Where you make your own dungeon there. That's kind of cool. The rest of the game can eat shit, though. Especially that fucking ultimate cringe character, or whatever his fucking name was. Kuwabara or whatever. Can't even, can't even remember that fucker's name. Did I see the bingo board on Discord? I did not. Where did I go? Hey, you're a messy. Link! I got you, bird, Link! dumb shit that's the best water dungeon so checkmate oh you know what I'm gonna do if I'm gonna be back I'm gonna fucking crush you all right here you go <laughs> I'm gonna crush you too I literally is I don't even remember what the water dungeon is in, in Skyward in Skyward Sword what the fuck even is it is that the one where... Oh, what was it? The pirate ship or something? I can't remember. The animal dungeons sucked. You hated them. Ancient cistern. It's been a while, man. It's been a while. And apparently I blocked a lot of it out of my mind because of how much I hated it. Apparently, so... <laughs> Music is great. Yeah, great music. Love it. Those catchy themes. Went from fucking Gerudo Valley and, you know, all this amazing music to. The robot beasts were awful in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, they're, it's not that they're awful, it's that they're disappointing because they lack the depth of like a Zelda dungeon, you know? That, it's not that they're bad, it's that they're like a letdown. They're just like a slightly longer shrine. So, that's the issue. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a home. Uh, yeah, the last DLC one was pretty good. I, I also kind of like the camel. I kind of like the camel. The camel is actually pretty tough, I think. All the game aesthetic. Yeah, the camel was good.
Hmm. Kind of cute level design here where you have to retrieve the thing and then go back and you nav re navigate the section in a new way now with the power up. It's kind of cool. Huh? You don't have the Divine Beast as dungeons. I mean, they're. They're very short, and, and like, the bird is, like, laughably easy. Like, it's a joke. Um, so, no, I don't count them as dungeons. I count them as disappointments. The camel's okay. But, you know, like I said. Uh, oh, I gotta slam. Okay, I gotta slam into this. Aha! Very small, like, two-minute dungeons. Well, that leaves somebody like me who's played Ze a lot of Zelda games. And by the time I played Breath of the Wild, that I was, like, kind of left me a little high and dry. Is like... Oh, is that it? Oh, okay. Guess that's it. The fuck was that for? <laughs> okay. How's the buy? How's Ribby going? Dude, it's been a ton of fun. It's been super fun. I'm having a great time. The bosses are also, I'd say, an extension. Oh, we get an R-Wing. I see it. I'd say that the bosses are also an extension of that problem with Breath of the Wild because the bosses are all basically the same thing. It's like, they look a little different, but they're all basically the same. That was very disappointing as well, too. I wouldn't say Zelda bosses are super important, but I like at least an effort was made to differentiate them in the past. Whereas here it's like, uh, Thunder Ganon, Fire Ganon, Lightning Ganon. That's, that's pretty disappointing in my opinion. I should review games because you feel exactly the same. I feel like you should hear me dissent with you on a game and then, and then decide if you want me to review games or not. That would be more important. Oh, dude, this is so cool. So you have to, you have to do this. If I could convince you of the, of my dissent from your opinion, then I would be a good video game reviewer. <laughs> Man, this makes me want to start. This is the best Star Fox game to come out since Star Fox 64. And that's the most sad sentence ever. <laughs> that's so sad. It's the best Star Fox game since Star Fox 64. This makes me want an action. Like, couldn't they just do this? How hard is it? Just record some bullshit. You got a bogey on your tail. Do a barrel roll. Like, how hard is it, man? It's not like we're not talking rocket science here. We don't need a complicated storyline. You got one on your tail. Like, it's not that hard. I'll get you, Andras. What are we talking here? We're Star Fox. You'll never defeat Andros like it's not a fight. We're not talking like the most complicated game of all fucking time. Like you could fucking do it. You're just not because you're stupid. Please, God damn it. Okay, we need the cone. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. Nice. Yeah, that was cool. That was a really cool level. You used all the different power-ups in a different way. It definitely feels like we're getting close to the end here, but that was very cool. Oh, I missed the poster. Don't fall in the lava while using Cone Mouth. Okay, so all we missed was the one poster. It would have been perfect if I hadn't done that. The blue star is to try to... Yeah, you can retry the flight section if you missed the... Uh, if you missed one of the things. So they, they let you retry it as much as you want. 
Maybe they are working on Star Fox. Star Fox, they, they seem pretty content leaving Star Fox behind. Or at least fo forcing motion controls in some fashion or another onto it, so. It was in the water. I didn't see it. They blend in pretty good. It got the F-Zero treatment. Well, at least there was a Star Fox game on the Wii U. The only problem was it was all motion controls, so. <laughs> that, that was the problem with that. Here for the game with a Star Fox tie-in. Will all the posters be respawned if I go back in the level? That's a, I'm not sure, actually. I'm actually not sure. All right, so we got some new challenges. Uh, Multi-mouth treasure. Oh, it's got like all... Two minutes and 45 seconds? Three minutes? Holy shit, man. <laughs> How do you feel about visual novels? How are you going to feed yourself? My wife's gone. Think about calling your mom. Maybe she'll come over. Make me a lasagna. Wow, Barb, tell us how you really feel. too fast. It's probably over at this point, right? Out of the way! Oh my god, this is a long one, dude! <laughs> what? I thought I could drive in lava! Woo! some like uh some of the harder stuff and man oh we were pretty far behind yeah i don't know i think i i fucked it up on the when i had the propeller thing or the wind thing the car obviously i fell too ah oh, well Barbie, that was a fun one dude that, i like that one a lot will bar beat the target time no that was a fun one kind of i kind of almost want to try that one again believers in shambles why is this ice not melting that was a cool one 
You want a racing multiplayer minigame with those physics? They're so fun. Uh, let's see. So this one, I have to unlock something or other to do that. Um... So, man, I need... Where, where was I supposed to get these extra stars from? Like, I'm, I'm short on stars, right? I guess, like, do you have to... I don't know where I'm supposed to get these stars. I know that they're upgrades. I just don't know where I'm supposed to get stars from. The town, maybe the town minigames and passwords. Yeah, maybe that's where I'm supposed to get them. I feel bad missing out on those. I mean, I've upgraded like everything. I don't know. We, we can go back to town real quick, I guess. They're hidden challenge levels in earlier worlds. I'm pretty sure there are secret time attack areas. Yeah, maybe I've like missed something. I'm not sure where though. I don't know really where I would go. Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. What is this? That got me money. Maybe like the battle arena. Maybe there's like a new thing to do in the battle arena. And that might, that might get me some stars or something. What do you have to say? Okay. Got you. Thank you. Uh, Snow X. Thank you for the 32 months. Thank you, Snow X. Really appreciate that. Cadbury Mike th or Mac. Thank you for the 40 months. Thank you very much. Oh, well, okay. Well, I already did this one though, right? Six battles. We did the, we did the Meta Knight cup. Didn't we? I did this already. Did I not? Yeah. And there's no additional cup. Can I like change the difficulty or something? You just got home from work. One of the codes gives you like five stars or like secret stars in that. Maybe that's what I've missed. I kind of want to go back and, and get those, you know, because I kind of want to do it. What was it? What was the thing? If we enter the code here, what was it? It was like gourmet Kirby or something. You still get a star for redoing it. Kirby the gourmet. Let's see if this gets me a star. This is so stupid. <laughs> Nintendo is so fucking weird with its systems, isn't it? All right. Kirby the gourmet. Kirby the Gourmet. Sounds like a perfect Strangers theme song. It's a good place to hide cheat codes. What about eat ass? What I got? Kirby the Gourmet. You got one rare stone and one car mouth cake. Okay. So now we got one star. So we can buy it. We can go buy another upgrade, I guess. Um, the, the big ones we need are the drill and the ice. Is it not? So like it's drill and ice are like the last two we need, I think. So we can buy one. We still need three more stars, though. There are codes from the demo. Yeah, I don't have those. Oh, we got twin drill. Hmm. Are we so we're suddenly B drill? You ordered Chipotle. Can you microtransaction stars? Enter the portal. Okay, so we can enter that portal. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, lets you really fly around. Uh, you return the Mennonite Cup to get, you can rerun it to get one cri rare crystal and 500 coins. Yeah, I don't want to rerun something unless I had to. Because I feel like I missed out on some stuff, so. Mr. Sandbag? Well, he's an inanimate fucking object, so I don't think it matters too much. Alright, so what did this one requires? The snow, blizzard, ice. Uh, and what does this one require? Storm. So we need the upgrade for tornado and the blizzard. Uh, we can go do this one now, though. Okay, twin drill treasure. Uh, dig and duck runaway parade. One minute. Let's do it. 
The boss fights feel like Dark Souls style fights. I just can only assume you never played Dark Souls. But they, they absolutely do not. <laughs> They are, they are cute though. What? Oh, I gotta go under, fuck. I do it the dark souls elitist is back i just have a hard time comparing kirby and the forgotten dreamland to fucking dark souls you moron i have a hard time doing that why because i'm a fucking rational goddamn human being idiot god will bar beat the target time yes god damn it God, some of you guys are just absolute fucking croissants. I'm just a fucking... You're a flaky, buttery croissant. That's all I can say about you. Alright. Oh, wow! Fucking elitist barb! Can't compare Kirby! The tasty! You donut! <laughs> Weekend chat strikes again. I'm a bagel. It's the Dark Souls of Kirby. Then I've done away with German as embrace the French. Final boss. Now I want croissants. <laughs> In the presence of the king. How many hours does Dark Souls take you? I haven't played regular ass Dark Souls in a million years. Uh, I've only ever done randomizers. Whenever I play vanilla Dark Souls, this is how my playthrough goes. I'm, I never die and I'm doing fine. And then I get to bed of chaos and I die like six times. Should I go? Should I go? I'm going to go no power up. Let's try no power up at first. Going no power. Going with the power ups is fun. I kind of want to try no power up though. We'll try that first. We can always just go get a power up if we die or something. Forgo DDD, his primal nemesis. Dude, he's got dual wielding hammers. Bosses in this game are really cool. He just pulled two hammers out of his ass. The bosses in this game are really cool. Oh, I got his hammer. Didn't mean to get his hammer. Come here, you motherfucker. Why is he running around like fucking Bort? Ah! Dude, put on the fucking Bort soundtrack. Dude, I'm gonna fucking hit you with this. Oh! 
Bro! The damage! <laughs> I think I killed him in fucking two hits. Don't get hit by Forgo. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's no way that's it. There's no way that's it. Hey, we actually did uh, just about everything. Oh, we did. We, wow. Clear without taking any damage. I didn't do that one. That one we didn't do. Oh, poor DDD. I like the DDD redesign. He's cute. He has more of a face than, than Kirby does. Oh. Change of heart for DDD. Discoverer? Automatic language detection activated. Authentication system. The fuck is this? Authenticating. Are we in the lore lab? Is this Resident Evil all of a sudden? Entry code approved. Every Resident Evil ends in a lab full of lore. Jeez, that's fucking dark. <laughs> that's However, fucking dark. Rest redainted. Thank you for the 21 began. months. A warp experiment incident occurred in this facility. A new life form separated from the main specimen escaped in the aftermath. That new subspecimen has yet to be recovered. In the time since, IDF 86 has shown no signs of activity. It is now kept in a state of permanent stasis within the custom-made eternal capsule here on the top level of lab discovery. Alright, we're gonna go with no with uh, no abilities. And here we are. Let's meet the ultimate life form, specimen ID F86. Take a good look, pink intruder. Isn't this a beautiful sight? You're not even seeing the great one in full form. They're incomplete without their other half. Long ago, the great one granted the people of this world a miraculous power. Those people left this world behind and entered a land of dreams. Once the Great One is complete again, I know we will also receive this miraculous power 
We the ones left behind in this forgotten land. They said the title. And now the time has finally come. I don't think Kirby understood any of that. That's right. This small creature here is the great one's missing half. Hey! It's like talking to your cat. Cat, now I'm gonna step outside right now. We're gonna, I need to go outside. Don't go in the garage. And uh, please, could you make sure you're not doing that? And thank you, cat. Your cat's just like, ah! <laughs> doesn't get it. We can help the great one reach their complete form. We've dreamed of this moment for so many years. If you dare to stand in our way, we'll feast on your hide. Oh, you can do like a big suck. I never really realized that. Big suck. Leongar, King of the Beast Leongar. Oh. Ow. Ow. We hit him with the big one. Oh boy, what is this shit? <laughs> what the fuck? That's so cool. Ah! Action roll, action roll. Some of these fights are almost more cool as Kirby rather than like, I don't know. Like the abilities are all fun, but I feel like the fights are um, maybe more interesting as Kirby where you have to like figure out how to get your hits in and where you're going to get the stars from. I'm so glad they never removed solo Kirby. I mean, I just feel like if you're playing with your ability, you're just kind of spamming that ability. Whereas with Kirby, there's like, there's more to do in terms of like, oh, where do I get my stars from? And where, how do, when do I shoot them? You know? That was a cool final boss, definitely tough. Almost instant lost your ability when you get hit. Yeah, that was a cool boss. All of his attacks were super cool. I liked him. You, you dare. Plan ruined. Important plan. Needed labor. Open vortex. Found workforce. Brought here. And yet, 
error made, irksome pink contaminant. <laughs> Kirby is an irksome pink contaminant. Careful planning now wasted. No more planning. No more patience. Instead, everything shall be consumed. Yikes. Mother brain. Bum, 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 bum. Oh! Oh, God! It's the thing! Ah! <laughs> oh, God! Fucking John Carpenter's the thing! Tetsuo! Kaneda! Kirby's still just like, Ay! Fecto Forgo Invasive Species. What the fuck? Oh, it's a nightmare. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, games giving me this. Suck black hole. Oh, we got the buzz saw. Let's grab the dragon fire. Up. Burn it with fire. Jeez, fucking yikes. <laughs> uh, okay. That was, uh... That boss was an experience, to say the least. These, these final bosses are crazy, dude. The lion guy... DDD was crazy, the lion guy was crazy, and now this thing was crazy, too. Are this giving you any power up you want? Any power up you want? I will go in without a. Maybe I, I kind of want to go in without a power up again. I kind of want to try just regular Kirby. All the other power ups are cool, but can you pick sleep? Uh, oh well, you know what? Actually, I do. I, I do kind of want the hammer though. I do kind of want hammer. <laughs> I won't lie. The the mega charge hammer. I do kind of want that. That escalated quickly. I just I feel like it's just more interesting to do without it. Let's do it. Let's do it without it. If I die, we can always, we, we can try something. You always suggest a power up. Okay, so Juan said I should do a power up, so we're definitely not going to do one. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. 
I think my X item is like a heal. It's like a cake or something. Fecto Elphilus, ultimate life form. It's like some fucking Pokemon or something. Ah, uh, well, that doesn't work. We're fighting over who is going to become the dominant species in the galaxy. What the fuck? We got all of that and shot her with it. <laughs> what is this? Jeez, man, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> what does the cake do? Oh, it healed me a little bit. Oh god, she's throwing goddamn galaxies at me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why does Kirby have better bosses than Elden Ring? <laughs> does she just fucking heal? Holy shit. She just fucking heal? Oh my god. Fucking wild, dude. Oh. She like, she gets out of there pretty quick too. She's not hanging around. Like it's super easy to get hits on her. I mean, she gives you stars, but you can't really use them when she's not around, right? Oh, this shit again, right? No heal for you. Is 
is like legitimately like a better boss than a lot of Elden Ring's bosses. <laughs> like, like legitimately like a better actual boss than a lot of Elden Ring's bosses. It really is. No, it really is. I'm not even kidding. Loser. Give me back my friend. It's better, yeah, it's a much better boss than Elden Beast. My god, man. Uh, Nico Yoshi, thank you for the tier 2 30 months. Phenomen Nonsense, thank you for the 56 months. All that shit in Kirby's like, <laughs> His nonchalance is terrifying. It is better. It is actually better than Fire Giant. It is actually better. It's not even a joke. It really is. It's better boss than Fire Giant. <laughs> Such incredible power. Whatever it's trying to do, it's going to be pretty bad. What is it, Kirby? Whoa, is that... Is that your home? That's Planet Popstar? Oh no, it's pulling Popstar through the huge vortex. It wants your world to collide with this one. We have to stop it, but how? Trinkets and baubles paid for in blood. <laughs> Dude, this game is fucking amazing. This this game is amazing. What a fucking game this is. Holy shit. I don't even like I don't even like Kirby. Not even I'm not even a Kirby fan at all. What a fucking sick ass game. Look, like pieces of Dreamland are like hitting here. What a fucking game. It's funny seeing the, the classic pieces of Dreamland hitting. It's kind of funny seeing that. I'm not controlling this as a cutscene. Oh. It's a fucking. It's a quick time event. It's a goddamn quick time event in Kirby. <laughs> Why not? Sure. Get the fuck out of here. That is that is so <laughs> that is so over the top. Doesn't even begin to describe. Over the top doesn't even begin to describe. <laughs> that doesn't even begin to describe. Is this planet pop star? Bits. Thanks for destroying self. <laughs> Everything is being pulled in. I need to close the connection between worlds. 
Mario takes all the power I've got. Hey, Kirby. Thanks for everything. Ah. Sag. Well, DDD's fucking dead too. He was in there. <laughs> bits. Uh, thanks for the bits. I mean, he might Kirby could have just saw his friend, or maybe he just saw like a cake or something. Like it's hard you can't really get a read on the guy. Like cake! Like who knows with fucking Kirby, right? Cake! <laughs> could have been anything. It could have been oh wow, an apple! Yeah. <laughs> uh guess we're going into the credits here. Oh, so I guess okay. So this is telling you what happened. So they they reopened the gateway and then DDD and they all reunited and we're all friends now. I guess there you go. Ciao to no. Yeah, all friends. Twins! Ah, there's your credits. Uh, hey. Uh, what can I say? I am not a Kirby fan. The games, to me, are, like, mostly okay. Like, I don't mind them. I like, I loved Dreamland when I was a kid. And, you know, like, but, and Kirby for the NES is pretty fun. Like, but I'm, I'm okay on Kirby. I love this game. I love this game. I thought this game was super fun. I don't think it was like particularly challenging, but I don't really care. Um, like I, I don't, I'm like, oh man, it wasn't hard. I don't care. Like, of course, it's meant for kids, but really, really fun. The power ups were all really fun. The level design was well done. Uh, the, the just the entire game. I'm I'm very very pleasantly surprised by this game. I thought this game was great. I think it's instantly in, uh, a Switch classic, a classic game for the Switch. I put it up there with like Luigi's Mansion 3. I put it up there with like uh, Link's Awakening. Uh, I feel like it, you know, it doesn't quite reach the level of Mario Odyssey, but it, it's, it's damn close, man. It, it reaches very high up. Like, you know, it's not, I mean, it's really hard to reach Mario fucking Odyssey, right? But like, it's, da it's pretty damn close. Very fun. Very, very fun. I could catch you finishing this beautiful game. I think if it was like a little bit more challenging and had like some more, like maybe I don't know if there are is that like a post game or what? Like if there if it had that like that extra oomph. But yeah, I really like. I don't have any criticisms of the game. Very fun, very fun. Yeah, it was post game. Okay. I mean, this is probably my favorite Kirby game that I've played. I mean, I love Dreamland, but like you know, Gr Dreamland and Kirby's Adventure on the NES. Those are old games. Yeah, I mean the bosses were super cool, dude. Like like uh. I think that the bosses were more fun when you actually don't use the power-ups, actually, because I feel like there's more of, like, having to figure out what to do. The power-ups, you just kind of spam whatever your ability is, and that's mostly fine. The best Kirby game. Took them 20 years to decide to make Kirby 3D. But yeah, just a really, really fun game. I love the at the additional challenges and, like, upgrading your power-ups. The little mini-games were super fun. Dude, I love the Kirby roll the ball game with the gyro controls, and I fucking hate motion controls too. Just they're really fun. No bullshit, dude. Between DDD, the final boss, and the lion guy, those bosses were like better than like 50% of Elden Ring's bosses. Like, no bullshit. They were actually better than like half of Elden Ring's bosses. I'm not even lying. <laughs> this is better than half the bosses in that fucking game. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. They were actually like more engaging, more to figure out, more like, oh my god, that's so cool. I think it were actually better. I'm not even kidding. Kirby rolled up. I know, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. We see this on YouTube. Yeah, Kirby will go on YouTube. Kirby will go on YouTube. Oh boy. To be continued. That was the lion dude. Oh man. To be continued. Yeah, I had a great time with this game. Really enjoyed it. Oh, uh, let's hit continue. Let's see uh, what else there is. There's like uh, another more levels to look at or something. Let's find out. Oh, uh, we got a new gotcha. The Kirby Cinematic Universe. 
It can play music. The Waddle Live Waddle Live Corner Stage has been rebuilt. Put in a request to hear your favorite tunes. Hmm. Play Freebird! You can now enter the ultimate cup in the Coliseum, battle tough opponents, and aim to become the champ. Hmm. You can unlock Orpheus. To enter the ultimate cup, visit the booth in front of the Coliseum. Wow, so it seems like there's a lot more like post game here too. Want to increase the power of a copy ability? Good news, copy ability can now be powered up at Waddle D's weapon shop. Man, this is like a lot of shit. Gift sub. Ah, okay. uh, probably tall. Thank you for the gift sub to Junko. Thank you very much. She's like beckoning me up there. Hey, look, Claw Run is visiting our town. She looks a bit upset. Hmm. Ah, are you thinking what I'm thinking, Kirby? Looks like I calmed down. The animals came to celebrate. Thus, Leon Gar was missing. I bet Claw Lorraine has been looking for him. She might have found something. We should ask her what's going on. Okay, so we're like trying to, where maybe we'll like save or something. Save that dude. Let's go to the main world. Let's go to like the overall. Let's see if anything is different there. I think Kirby is an eldritch horror with no gender of any kind. I think he is completely genderless. There must be a rare stone waiting at the end of every treasure road. Okay, so that's the lab. And this takes us here. I wonder if there's anything else for us to do. Okay, so it looks like there's it looks like the world is basically the same. Seems like nothing's different. All right, let's go back to the town. Let's go talk to the thing. Last I played a Kirby game was on the Game Boy. A lot of hidden treasure runs on the map. Yeah, I'm sure I missed a bunch. I tried to do everything I could find. I tried to do everything I could like see. It's another mysterious vortex. You sense Leon Gar somewhere in there. Oh boy. Oh, is this like an extra world too? Oh, I think it might be. Oh my gosh. This feeling this is exactly how it felt when I was absorbed by my other half, Fecto Elphilus. After that big battle, the younger I became trapped in this strange place. Come on, Kirby, we have to check it out. There's like even more levels. Oh man. Isolated Isles Forgo Dreams. Wow. There's even more game. Very cool. Forgo planes. Wow. Man, this is neat. It's so cool looking. It's made from super strong psychic energy. Wow. That's cool. That's really cool. The deathbed dream. That's really good. So it seems like there's even more game here. Yeah, a lot more to go. All right, neat. Oh, that's exciting. Ton more levels? Yeah, dude. Those were opening credits. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot more to go. Uh, I can keep going with this. I can keep going with this. I feel like uh, maybe now would be a good time to, to uh, switch games, though. Might be time to switch games, though. Yeah, we, we've done a lot. We've played a lot of Kirby. It's been, uh, we played six and a half hours yesterday, and we just played four and a half hours. So in the past, like 24-ish hours, I've played almost uh, like 11 hours of Kirby. Maybe it's maybe it's good to mix it up and change things up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's good to mix it up.